How were Viking ships built? Viking ships were marvels of maritime engineering, ingeniously crafted. Their design was characterized by clinker construction, a technique in which planks overlapped and were securely fastened along their edges with iron rivets. Then it was made watertight using caulking. The keel, made from an oak trunk, is the first part to be laid down. The stems are joined using scarf joints and fastened with three iron rivets each. Following that, the sides of the boats were constructed by adding long wooden planks, known as strakes, to form the hull. A series of wooden ribs and crossbeams were incorporated, running across its length to reinforce the hull. To hold the mast, the keelson was installed. It helped spread the weight of the mast and the strain caused when under sail. When winds were lacking, oars could be inserted through holes in the planks. Wooden discs were employed to seal the oar holes preventing the intrusion of seawater when not in use. A steering oar was attached to the starboard side of the ship at the stern. Warships possessed the capability to swiftly raise or lower the mast, a crucial feature for navigating into enemy territory and seamlessly transitioning between rowing and sailing. Their shallow draft shape allowed them to be fast and to navigate in shallow waters. The ships were also light enough to allow a large crew to drag them on land. The sails were made of wool, waterproofed with animal fat, serving to preserve the sail and enhance its wind-holding performance. Oak or pine was the preferred wood for boat construction. To preserve the natural strength of the wood, the trunks were cleaved exclusively with axes, following the grain of the tree. Selecting the right piece in the forest was a meticulous process, as the shape of the wood was crucial. Keels and planking were crafted from tall, straight trees, while curved trees and limbs were used for frame components. A diverse range of ships was employed for various purposes, including commerce, military operations, exploration, and colonization. The construction process yielded ships characterized by their strength, flexibility, and versatility. The legacy of these ships transcends naval history, leaving an indelible mark on the pages of time.